Hello everybody, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you wherever you are around the world. Um, my name is Jonathan Bakebwa and um, I'm really grateful to be here. Um, uh, thanks to the team from Vue.js Amsterdam and passionate people and also to the uh, entire Vue community for being here today. And I'm really honored to be here to share with us uh, a bit about uh, Chakra UI. Uh, maybe briefly about myself, I am a computer science major. I live in Beijing, China, and I am also uh, the creator of uh, Chakra UI View, which I happen to be sharing with us today about. So I'm really excited about that. Um, all right, great. So let's 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 dive let's dive right in. So uh, what is Chakra UI View? Um, so you might have heard about it. For those who have not, um, Chakra UI View is a uh, component library that is accessible. Um, that also gives you uh, building blocks to build uh, view applications uh, with speed. And so um, uh, if you if you use Chakra UI, you, you will be like the guy in the GIF on the right hand side. Um, currently Chakra UI view is only available for uh, view two applications. Um, view two applications. So it, we are currently uh, working on, on the view three support though. I know some people might be wondering because uh, today is uh, uh, the great conference day where everyone talks about Vue 3. Cool, so um, Chakra UI was is actually not originally uh, only existing in the Vue community. Uh, it also exists in the React community for those of us that uh, probably a lot of people might be aware. And so um, we recently published the Vue version a couple of months ago. And uh, I just wanted to uh, also give a quick shout out to uh, Segun Adebayo, who is the original creator of Chakra UI and um, and uh, yeah, to the community as well that has helped uh, contribute to Chakra and to, we wouldn't be here today uh, without everyone's effort. Great, so what are the, what are, uh, the few things uh, that make Chakra UI um, unique? Um, so Chakra UI uh, provides accessible authored components. So it's built from the ground up to uh, while well co considering accessibility. And the way that we're able to achieve that was ensuring that all uh, Chakra UI components follow the WAI ARIA authoring practices for authored components. Um, so um, you'll find that all components come with the proper uh, ARIA attributes as well as keyboard interactions out of the box, which is necessary because um, browsers actually do not implement uh, keyboard accessibility at the same level that your native operating system does. So having that behavior ex um, um, uh, um, abstracted to a component level, uh, to a component library is, is really convenient. Um, Chakra UI also has a, 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 a customizable theme, a really interesting theming API. So what it allows you to do is to also conveniently reference the values from your theme object um, to style your components. So on the right hand side, you can see that we have a, a box component that has a background color of pink, uh, dot 400, uh, 400 level pink uh, and with a, with a color of white. And so um, that would yield essentially a div by default and um, it will also provide the background color and the actual text color. And so you can, this is how you reference values inside your, inside your applications with Chakra UI view. Values inside your theme that is. You can also change the underlying element um, as you can see by passing the as poly polymorphic prop. So you can um, provide a, a, a different tag name or even another component. Um, uh, Chakra UI will render that component for you. So how do you customize Chakra UI's theme? So you import view, you can import Chakra, uh, the Chakra UI plugin, and uh, you can also import your object from somewhere else, or you can also declare it in the same file in your main.js. And when you register the plugin and you call view.use and pass the plugin in, one of the options is the extend theme option. So in the extend theme option, you can pass in your custom theme. Uh, Chakra UI's theme object uh, re references, um, uses, uses the theme, uh, theme UI um, specification. So I will show us uh, how we can use it in a later demo. Chakra UI also provides really uh, awesome composable primitives. And uh, um, it, it's built from the ground up with, comp with composition in mind. So you can take Chakra UI's components and use them to build your own. So what that allows you to do is that it gives you the freedom to not have to lock in 
to the to the default designs the chakra UI gives you out of the box you can customize them you can change the way they appear you can in fact build your own component library on top of chakra components uh, very conveniently so chakra UI styling API as you might have noticed uses st uh, style attributes like this um, so uh, what this allows us to do is to literally pass the style that you want an element to have on the Chakra UI component and you can override them. So in this case I overrode, uh, if that's a word, I overrode the alert component and I set the background color and I set the, uh, the font weight and I also set the, um, the, uh, the, the text color as well without having to pass uh, important in my CSS file without putting important after the value, um, which you typically find when you consume a component library. Um, so Chakra UI is built with this kind of uh, flexibility. So you can build your own custom alerts just like this by overriding with the styling API. It also embedded a, st a responsive styling um, API uh, for, uh, for, for, for your components as well. So in this case, you can see that um, we have a padding which is uh, a shorthand of for uh, which uses a shorthand p as you can see on this flex component um, that will on this from the lowest breakpoint uh, going upward will use a padding of four uh, which is 16 pixels uh, then at the next breakpoint it will use a, a padding of four um, which is another 16 pixels and at the next and then beyond that it will use a value of 10 so 10 uh, will reference uh, 10 times 4, which is 40 pixels. So from your smaller breakpoints all the way to the larger size breakpoints, um, this is how Chakra UI allows you to um, to develop. And so these breakpoints are, are mobile first, if you will, if I may define it that way. And you can also see some of the shorthands that we're using here, like the BG, uh, which is for background color, and Justify, which is uh, uh, for short for Justify content for the Flex component as well. Also, Chakra UI view um, it, uh, pr comes with ships most components with support for dark and light mode. So, as you can see in this example, uh, on the left hand side, on the right hand side, you can see that um, the the um, the when the user toggles between dark and light mode, the button colors are changed automatically. And for this, um, I didn't have to write any custom styles. Uh, for the buttons to look like this and even the alert component is responsive once see when they click the dialogue you can see that uh, the dialogue uh, also responds the correct way all right so let's dig in I would like to build something very simple with chakra UI so we can see um, how exactly it works a few moments later okay so I just realized something. I just realized that I could not um, run my development server, have VS Code open, record, and also have my browser open at the same time because I don't have a very powerful computer. So um, what I went ahead and did was I went to airbnb.com, uh, which I'm going to go ahead and show us here. And I found this really interesting component, which I thought would be uh, a, an interesting case for us to showcase what Chakra UI view can do and um, it has an image here and it also has this um, absolutely positioned um, element this um, this card on top of this other image and um, on mobile view the way it kind of stacks is that it will it will go one on top of the other which I think is really beautiful you can see an example of that here uh, there's an example of that there so great um, so what I went ahead and did was I rebuilt the same card using a component library. And so you can see here, uh, we still have the text, we have the image, and we also have the same card. And if I open the same page, um, the same the same um, card image on the on the website here, you can see that the layout is, is, is quite similar. Oh, there it is, the Texas capital. And this is how it looks like implemented in Chakra UI view. So the beauty with this is that you can create custom layouts using a component library, using uh, a component library, which uh, I feel that previously before wasn't very, previously before um, using Chakra UI wasn't very easy to do. And so with this, um, this kind of shows how you can actually build custom user interfaces using a component library. So uh, Chakra UI is not really op extremely, I don't feel it's extremely opinionated about how your application looks like. It just gives you tools that you can use to customize how your applications can appear and look like 
which is really beautiful. Um, so um, this is what it looks like in code. In case you're wondering, this is what it looks like in code. We have a heading component. I'm also using a flex component. And you can see the array syntax for mobile responsive layouts. So on mobile, it's going to use a flex direction of column. And uh, then beyond this breakpoint, it's going to use a row. And we have this stack that's um, absolutely positioned in, on desktop. And it's positioned relative on mobile. and um, yeah, and you can see here that we're using uh, uh, the stack to evenly space out the heading and the text uh, components, which is really, really, really powerful. I thought this is really good. Great. So another another landing page that I built using Chakra UI View was uh, Miro's uh, landing page, which is this one here, and um, you can see that it's been built in Nuxt in Chakra UI View. Um, you can also see the using the view telemetry extension that was recently released. It's using Chakra UI, and um, it looks um, uh, very similar to the, uh, the 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 native Miro um, landing page. I think it's changed. They've changed a few things since I last uh, built this. At the time, this was a yellow button. It's now blue. Um, but yeah, so you can see that um, this here is how it looks like. And it looks it looks very similar. Uh, you wouldn't be able to tell, um, even with the behavior on the nav bar as well. Uh, we're also able to to replicate that, and um, it's really good. Um, another landing page I built was Slack's landing page using uh, Chakra UI View, and you can also see here uh, using the Next Telemetry uh, extension that um, it's using Chakra UI. It's using View. It's using Next JS, and all this was built. Um, um, using Chakra UI view, uh, so it's not really op opinionated about. And if you go to the, it, it's not really opinionated about um, how your um, your application should look like. Um, so if you um, if you're using a library like um, like Chakra UI view, what I really feel it gives is the freedom to um, to faithfully execute like a design. So if you're the developer that cares about um, design systems. Um, I think Chakra UI view is something that's worth trying out, something that's worth looking into. So this is the or Slack's original landing page, and this is what uh, I was able to build with it. Yeah, and um, yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't uh, do a, a real live demo um, because I, I don't have a very powerful Mac. Uh, but yeah, let's let's go ahead and finish this talk. Awesome, and thank you for watching my live demo. Uh, so Chakra UI also has a community around it. Um, you can check out our website at view.chakraui.com. Uh, that's a documentation site. Uh, we also have a GitHub repository, um, which you'll find on the Chakra UI organization slash Chakra UI view. And you can also uh, follow us on Twitter, uh, Chakra UI underscore view. And we also have a Discord channel. So you'll find the link to our Discord on, on our website as well. So um, that being said, I'd like to thank you all for uh, watching and listening to my talk, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you try out Chakra UI View. We're always looking for contributors, um, for people to help improve the ecosystem and improve the library. And so if this, if you think that is you, I'll be very happy to uh, welcome you. Um, thank you so much, and enjoy the rest of the conference. Ciao.